name is Alan Treisenberg. I work for the Snohomish County Labor Council. I love my job. It is one of the most rewarding jobs I've ever had. Growing up in Southern California, I grew up in the LA Harbor area of San Pedro, and it was a multi-diverse area. It was one of the reasons my parents picked that area. The idea of it takes a village to raise a child, this village raised everybody. If you had a new family in the community, they didn't probably cook for the first two weeks that they were there. Growing up, as I did, and where I did, early on instilled volunteering, and I also have to thank my parents for that. My mother volunteered at everything. She was a stay-at-home mom, and I didn't know what it was not to volunteer. My parents believed that volunteering was a component of your life, and that has stayed with me. When I went to work for the Labor Council, what I discovered were a great many people had the same set of values that I did. Volunteering is something that they did without consciously thinking about it. Alan plays a central role in coordinating uh, a whole variety of different projects that happen under the auspices of the Snohomish County Labor Council, from our community service programs that we're involved in as delegates organizing our meet monthly meetings that we take place, to the Workers' Memorial that we have once a year here in Snohomish County. Anything that labor is involved in, Alan has some role in helping to coordinate the different unions that are here in Snohomish County. Alan was central in making sure this year's food drive was a smashing success. The Letter Carrier's Food Drive is one of the more visible um, activities that volunteers involve themselves in. And it's fun because you know that you are doing good. You start out with a huge group of people, most of whom you've never met in your life. By the time you're done, you're friends because you have come together for a good cause. I believe Alan is deserving of the Spirit of Labor Awards because she leads by example. Her commitment over the last 10 years that I've known her shows that her commitment to improving the lives and working conditions of working families here in Snohomish County. When you look at the issue of hunger in the community, it seems overwhelming. And what I always tell people is this, I use an analogy, and the analogy that I use is that of a pond. That if you take a pebble and if you drop that pebble in a pond, it causes little waves. And it starts out as concentric circles, but it grows. And you are going to make a difference. That pond will never be the same. One can of food can make a difference. A case of food can make a big difference. I see no time in my life when I will not volunteer because it has made me a better person. I enjoy it. And when I get up in the morning, I know that, that, that as that little pebble, I'm still going to make ripples on the pond. It's gonna change the shore. It's gonna aerate the pond. I'm making a difference.